Hello everyone, it's Eda Wolf. We are back with Bowler's Gate 3. Um, the next couple of videos on YouTube are going to be a little bit different. Um, when I streamed this on Twitch, I didn't realize my mic and Shell Sprout and Jesse's mics were not working. So we're going to do a voiceover for this. Um, so right now, what we end up starting to do is we originally were at Moon... Um, Moonrise Tower, and we decided to fast travel to Lighten, uh, Lighten, where are you? Last Lighten, I'm reading as I'm recording. Um, last Lighten, we went back there because we end up saving some tieflings and some other people at the end of last stream. So we headed back that way just to see if they made it and as you, we will see in a second they did they made it they survived huzzah As we were here, Shell Sprout also talked to the children, um, and they were trying to sneak off to Moonrise Tower to try to save their friends. And Shell Sprout was like, hell no, you, sh you guys should not do that. So she convinced them not to do that, and then we would try to go save their friends. And then we had this interaction. With some of the tieflings. Did you enjoy? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I thought my entire family was dead. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me and the two idiots. Humble too? Imagine that. She has no cause to be humble. She brought us back together. A task I failed. So this gentleman, we end up you saving last stream, us. last Twitch stream. Right. Um, in he was on the way to yeah. Moonrise Towers. And we pretty helps. much was like, get the hell back to the inn, like, you're gonna die. So we told him to head back, and we would save the tieflings. Luckily he did, and he was fine. But he, he took a bit of damage against some, um, shadowy creatures. Which, uh, we run into later on in the stream. Have fun with that, watching that later. Traitors among us. A child taken. Jesse decides to go back belief. to talk to her. Um, they have taken Isabel too. She's feeling guilty that a child got taken. Um, we were all caught off guard. Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Will we? <laughs> uh. Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't he trying to, He was trying to get more information. Send an agent to infiltrate this cult. About the Greatest absolute. Among the city's about her in general. Nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. So firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. I'm interested to see so if, I like, my harpers and came to the source. if they tried to turn her. Hours. So she seems kind of like to be some crusty one of the, the leaders. They have me slaying gods or laying with them, depending on the bard. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Volo fan Kedarm? Oh, that old fraud should be dust a century past. But then, lies live forever. And he's half made of this stuff. There are as many versions of a tale as there are people to tell it. Let that satisfy you. And anyway, the heroics of old have done seemingly... We fight, we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. Or even someone to kind of tell our, uh, tell our tale, I guess. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Yeah, it's true. Perhaps <laughs> we did. They simply refused to stay saved. As you can tell, I was just I was like, I'm ready to go kill things. <laughs> I'm ready to go loop. Um, I think we talked to one more person. Um, we end up finding a, another quest we could do. Um, so, which we'll start in a second. But make sure you guys are uh, following Twitter. It'll announce whenever we stream this. We plan on continuing streaming Baldur's Gate on Monday, Monday and Wednesday, 6.30 to 9.30. Hopefully we won't have any more audio issues. <laughs> Um, but I also plan on adding an extra stream, uh, starting September 1st on Sunday. Um, I'm going to stream every Sunday for the next couple months. Color. Uh, here's name, the extra side mission. Art color? I'm Fistula. Mm -hmm. Sunny on me, climb, climb. Climbing up a tree. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. So we end me, up, um, you, since finding this you quest, we kind of continue doing this quest instead of going back to Mirror's Tower for a bit. Um, just no, because we looked at the map anyway. after we talked to this to lady. And getting information. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he uh, held on to it for a hundred years. The marker anyway. for this mission is pretty close by to the uh, inn. Thank you. So we just decided to go do that and level up a little bit, or try to level up. But as, a, as I was saying, we uh, I plan on adding an extra stream on Sundays. So please feel free to join. It'll still be at 6.30. It'll just be a two-hour stream. But it will not be Baldur's Gate. Um, it'll be a different game. Not as long as we can put up a fight, we're not. But yeah, the mission is to wake him up. Find something to help wake him up. Art. I was trying to like go into Jesse's perspective since he kept wandering around, but it kept kicking me. Marcus was scum, but the just about. And a lot of the other characters were just Shouldn't talking shit about Marcus. He was the uh, one who came in to I try to Marcus steal be. the um, cleric, I believe, that was protecting Lighten. Yeah. 
But if you see on the map, right to the left, that's where the marker for art is. So I think we end up deciding, let's go explore that way and try to level up a little bit. Since we didn't really explore a lot of the area of the Cursed Lands. And we should be good since we have the uh, blessing of the fairy and some other stuff on us. We don't have to have a lantern. So off into the woods we went to get levels. I of course wander off on my own like a fool, but I have will, that's fine. And Shell Sparrow is on my butt too, so. She'll be able to help if I run into any trouble. So we find a little abandoned chicken coop and some bodies. Of course, they gotta loot it all. Really wasn't a lot there, just some gold and some rotten eggs, like usual. And then we run into these fellows again. We ran into them last stream. And we kind of avoided them because we just didn't want to deal with them. We wanted to get to Moonrise. Um, but we were like, screw that. Let's fight them and try to level up a little bit. And get some experience. Which I thought we would get the initiative because we kind of attacked them. Like, you, well, I ran in. I should have just attacked, I guess. Um, but they ended up appearing in front of everybody and kind of like put like a leash on everybody except I think me maybe and uh Jesse but they weren't that hard to fight I don't remember what they were called mean girl Frenzy. Let's rage. Murder. But yeah, this was like a quick little fight. Um, it probably would have been quicker if it all hadn't been um, grabbed. My guy's almost dead. And I don't know why he teleported me away. I was like, okay, you're about to die, sir. It doesn't matter. I think he was trying to get me away from the others. Oh, 
So he's dead now, and now I'm off to help Will. My boy Will. Time to throw shit. And he's dead. Or, no, I knocked him down. Ah, uh, yes. What's a bit interesting about this thing, I think it's the Revolt, or Magic Missile, it keeps delaying, like I'll do the attack but it takes a few minutes, seconds to, uh, for it to actually do anything. <laughs> experience now it's time to loot I'm wasn't really a lot of stuff here a lot of rotten stuff of course there is a chest though which I have to throw uh, Jesse up to because he's too small he can't jump up there you look right there, it's yep. Let's have a look. And then I'm trying to remember how to throw them. I'm like, D what do I do? <laughs> you touch them and then you aim wherever you want to throw them. So I throw them up there. Whack. We just continue on um, to that marker, arts marker. There is a trap right here that Shell Sprout ended up seeing. Um, so she ended up shooting it and disarmed it. And there's some more chests and stuff in here. I believe. I ended up looting all the vases, which there was a key in one of them, but I assume it was probably for the uh, chest that we found earlier, is my guess. This was probably their little home. Weasel's home. There it is. There's the key.
across the river to the spooky, spooky graveyard, it looks like. To the Mason's Guild? Hmm. That's where we ended up. So, Jesse and Shell Sprout went to the left, and I was like, can I go to the right? I should be fine, right? I got Will. I can just not follow them. Um. Something did happen. Uh, Jesse ran into something, which we never found it, figured out what that was. It just kind of disappeared. So uh, I end up going off to the right and just kind of look at stuff over here as they continue to the left. It looks like a lot of sculptures and stuff. You know, I have to be a loot goblin as I can. And then I found a door. Like, something crazy is on the other side of this door, guys. It's so crazy. So crazy that it's my party members. <laughs> So we found each other. Huzzah. <laughs> we found some tools for the uh, sculptures. Chisels. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Here lies the Grand Mason, his bones and lies exposed. So they ran into something, I guess. That's what the, that dialogue. Um, I'm not really sure what they found because I was distracted by things upstairs. Here lies the Grand Mason. So I his found a will. And, lies and I was like, what the hell is this will for? Is it a trap? What will it do? Um, so I finally gave in and just touched the well. <laughs> it was an elevator. <laughs> I did not expect it to be an elevator, but it was. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and the others found a different way down, a ladder. So I was like, okay, we meet up again. So we just keep exploring this area for a little bit. Just keep looting. See if we can find any goodies. We found a secret wall, which was nice. And we go in. Of course, keep an eye out for traps. Jesse failed to uh, open that chest, but he tried again and he got it. He got it. And don't forget, we plan on continuing Baldur's Gates every Monday and Wednesday, 6.30 to 9.30. Uh, we will continue hopefully until we're done with the campaign. Um, we are in Act 2 and I think we're making some pr pretty good progress so hopefully we finish it before the end of the year. Um, also um, I plan on in October switching back to focusing on more horror games than Baldur's Gate. We'll still do one stream of Baldur's Gate a week um, if we're still doing the campaign, I assume we will be. Scores for careful footwork. 
So there's something in this room, as you can tell, uh, with the red lighting. As you sneak around, you can see uh, the viewpoint of the enemy. Like, if you're in the red, they can see you. Um, but yeah, there is something in this room, and if you look... If I can... Yeah, so there's some eyes. Yep, right there. So that is what can see us. And we're trying to figure out a way to, like, j where Jesse can, like, sneak and kill it. Shut up, or me? shoot it. That where we don't have to even fight it, really. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but as I was saying... Um, we'll be doing more horror games in October. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. Um, subscribed on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Um, there's a couple games I plan on playing during October. And again, we'll still play Boulder's Gate. It's just, it'll only be once a week. We haven't picked the day yet of what, what day we'll be streaming that, but I'll make sure to announce it when we get close to October. Um, right, so he's about to try to hit the uh, creature. See how what see what let's see what happens. Out of mind. Cause I don't know what happens, but do you? If we will attack, that is. I'm pretty sure he was trying to decide if he wanted to shoot it with a bow or just sneak attack because he realized he can't do both. Here we go. Alright, he hits it. But it heals itself. <laughs> It heals himself, so we're like, well, that was useless. So we finally just decide to, uh, fucking charge in, because, uh, we, we gotta kill it. With haste. Off we go. Let's see what happens. I think it'll just be a peaceful fight. Or not. Or not. I don't think it's a piece of fight, guys. I think we got some shadows. So we have encountered the shadow beings before. Earlier in the, uh... Cursed Land when we were heading to the Rise Tower. So we have fought those before. We haven't watched, uh, fight the Wraith before. This was our first Wraith. Which, he wasn't too hard. The shadow people were more annoying. But this was another kind of... Not too hard of a fight. It was pretty easy. And again, we got some more experience as... Trying to get to, uh... Level 7, I, th I think we're level, level 6 right now. Currently. But, uh, the games we're planning on playing, uh, I plan on playing in October. Um, the first game I'm going to be playing is Signalis. It is a game Jesse recommended to play. He played it earlier this year in his free time, and he told me I should play it in October, so I am going to take his recommendation and play that first. And then, as soon as I'm done with that, since Silent Hill 2 is coming out in October, the remake, I'm going to play that as well. Um, I have not played any of the Silent Hill games at all. I'm very excited to check it out. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to check it out. Hopefully it'll be a good time. But it'll be 
two streams of the horror games and one stream of Baldur's Gate every week, unless something interferes with our schedule. Like a Macy, which Macy, you might hear her meow every once in a while. She is wandering around me as I voice record over. And here comes the shadows out of the darkness. If we have time after we finish Sinalis and um, Silent Hill 2 in October, I'll probably play one more horror game. I just don't know what it is yet. There's tons of options, of course. Clemenze. Let's attack that way. Hiya! Oh ho! Stabby stab. Alright, I have a question for you all. Let me know in the comments. Who has been your favorite? If you played Baldur's Gate 3 or if just watching us play, who's been your favorite companion? of like who joins your party who's your favorite companion let me know in the comments i have enjoyed will but i don't think i was using will at his full uh abilities like i'm not as good as playing as will um i do like cardrack card cardrack cardrack i don't know i'm saying that wrong i'm sorry um, I like her, of course, she is a barbarian. She's cool as well. Um, who else do we have? We have Shadowheart, which we really haven't used her th much recently. Just because, um, we used her a lot at the beginning of our campaign and we kind of wanted to spread out using all the NPCs. So Will has been with us the last couple streams because he thought he would be helping us save his dad. Which we still haven't found the Duke yet. Hopefully at some point. We have one left, and we don't even know where he is. I remember this. We were like, where the, where is he? <laughs> we have no clue where he is, so we end up deciding, like, I decide to use myself as bait. <laughs> Draw them out. No choice but to keep going. So I go out in the, into the shadows just to see if I can bring the creature out. To keep going. Does the plan work? Let's find out. Let's find out. Did it work? Where is the shadow? We have to wait for Jesse Dennis' turn before we find out. Hey, Mimi. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, and finally came out and actually got hit by the uh, beam that shell sprout, shell sprout put down, which was awesome. And well finished the last shadow. Very nice. That's the end of part one of the voiceover. Uh, we will be back with part two and three and four. I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Ta-ta.